What is up guys, Argue here with another fantasy team series and this was the first round of the playoffs which I recorded just today and I didn't play Minnesota in that time but he came on, I played him and I 4 0 him. So it's going to be, for the, from the west it's going to be Dallas, Detroit, St. Louis and Phoenix and then from the east it's going to be Ottawa, Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay and I believe out, coming out of the sim New Jersey won it, I'm not too sure because those uh, New Jersey was a human and Carolina was a computer, but New Jersey wasn't here, so that one got simmed. So other than that, uh, predictions, mm, I think it's going to be me and Phoenix, like in the conference, because uh, Detroit plays Phoenix, I play St. Louis, so I think it's going to be me and Phoenix coming out of the West, and then from the East, I'm not exactly sure, It's gonna, I think it, it's going to be Ottawa and somebody, I'm pretty sure. Ottawa, if New Jersey made it, it might be Ottawa and New Jersey. But, um, I don't know, it's, it'll be a close one. Haven't really played many teams from the East. Anyways, guys, I want to wish you guys a happy New Year, and hopefully you guys have a great New Year. Uh, mine came off to be pretty good so far. Uh, actually, I've played with a couple subs today in drop in so that was pretty cool. If you guys do run into me, let me know. Maybe we can even party up. But uh, for my light lines in the playoffs here, we got Evander Kane, Spezza, and Hosa on the first. We got Williams, Carter, and Grabner on the second with Mahotra, Horkoff, and Samson on the third. And then Cornet, McLeod, and Listening on the fourth. Horkoff has five goals. He's leading my team in points with five points in four games, so it's not too good, but he's got five goals. Carl and Myers on defense um, actually moved Carl over to the right side there, so it's better for the one-timers. And then we got Phillips and Regeer, and then Volchenkov, and that flipped, and I can't even remember who's playing there. Volchenkov and somebody else. But I'm pretty happy with my Jocelyn, that's who it was. But I'm pretty happy with my defense. Same with my goaltending. I got Kippersoft and Brizgolov, two solid goaltenders. I thought I needed to get one just in case Kippersoft retired after the season. So I'm in a pretty good position here. We're going to be rolling into the uh, points leaders here once this is done loading. But um, I'm going to be posting some Call of Duty on here now as well. And I'm going to be picking up Far Cry. Far Cry? I'm, I think I'm going to get Far Cry. But if there's any games you guys want me to do, let me know. Any videos, let me know. I know I haven't really been too active, and I apologize for that. And you guys probably say, oh, you say that every time. But I truly do apologize. Like, I want to get this rolling. Like, I don't know, a new YouTube just like turns me off, like, I go on there, and even to watch videos, I hate it, like, this is, you gotta go into my subscriptions, and then you gotta click like, uploads only, so it's not, I, I don't know, I don't like it, but uh, Hosa leading my team with 112 points, followed by Spezza at 80, William 73, Evander Kane 62, we got Grabner at 57, and uh, Horkoff down there at 53, so it's a pretty good turnout, um, Obviously, Host has just taken it away like nothing. He's got a 32-point gap on Spezza in second with 56 goals and 56 assists. Like, that is pretty strong. Going into uh, my goaltenders here, Kiprasov playing most of the season, averaging a 1.77 goals against average. Briz, I did get in a trade, so uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't even play a game with him, I don't think. As for um, save percentage, uh, 89 and 92 there. And uh, Kiprasoft has a 17 shutouts on the season, so that was a strong performance. Uh, flopping in here, we're going to be moving over into the NHL here. And Datsuk takes it away, as well as most of the other da uh, Detroit players really did take it away. They basically lead every cat category. Um, Detroit, they played, they played like all their games where like he played all the computer games where if it was a computer game I simmed it and then if I was losing I'd take well depending how bad I was losing I'd take over in the second or the third but most of the time like I have a pretty strong team like playing through the playoffs there I simmed um, I, I played the first one against the computer 1-3-2 and then I played the rest and sim the rest I mean in one like three one four one and that was simming so I got did better simming than I did actually playing Datsuk with 141 points followed by Daniel Sedin, Nick Schultz all on Detroit 
Um, Mark Stahl, Detroit, Havlat, Detroit. Detroit is just all over the board for points, but like I said, he played all those games through, so I'm happy enough to have Hosa up there with a full 82-game season. As for NHL talks, like this uh, gameplay back here is just going to be cycling through. NHL talks, do you guys think there's going to be an NHL season? Let me know. Comment down below. Lately, I've been watching um, the Oklahoma City Barons playing the Oilers affiliate team, and you know what, for as many All-Stars as they got down there, I thought they would be doing better. Jordan Eberle, Taylor Hall, Justin Schultz, and Hawkins are all doing phenomenal down there, and some other players have started to pick up their game. But other than that, guys, uh, any new games you guys want me to get, any videos, let me know. Peace out, and Happy New Year.